Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to get started with declaring records. As you see here, I have a bunch of documents. That those are CVs for a bunch of people that are being deployed for different positions in different departments, and all of them are currently under review. What I want to make sure is that I declare a record, that is, make sure that nobody can change the CV after they have been employed. So what I want to do to make sure that happens is to go in under site settings and under site collection features there is a feature called in place record hold which I'm going to enable in place records management so I'm going to activate that and then I go back to site settings I can specify here under record declaration settings what declaring a record should mean and by default it means that you can't do ed edits and you can't do deletes on CVs or, or on any record that you declare as a CV and it's um, by default it's not available in on all locations so I need to go in and modify that in the document library settings too and the declaration of records can be performed by all list contributors and administrators but only list administrators can do an undeclare. Okay, so that's those are the default settings, but you can of course change those. Now I'm gonna go into CVs, and as you see, if I go into files here, there's no button for declare a record. But if I go in under library settings and go in under record declaration settings, I'm gonna always allow the manual declaration of records. You can also automatically declare items as records when they're added to this list. So I could have another library with only the employed people's CVs and I can move the CVs over. So that's a possibility too. But now I'm just gonna allow that. So now you'll see when I go in again under files here, I get the declare record. So now I can go in and edit properties for this and say that she's employed now, this person. And then I can go in under files and declare a record. And now you get the little lock symbol here on the document. And when I go into the document Word Online and try to modify that, it's a very empty CV. But now when I edit that, you'll notice that I'm not allowed to do so. And the same goes, of course, if I try to edit it in Word. So that's how declaring a record works. In my next demo, I will make that automatic. So when they change the deployment status, the lock will also be applied with a workflow. But that concludes this demo on how to get started with records declaration management. You, also, you first need to go into site settings and enable the feature. And then you need to go into library settings and enable the feature for this library. Thank you for watching this demonstration.